it's me again. In my witch outfit. For the third time today. Hello. I am Ambrosia and I am the Eclectic Herbalist. Welcome back. That was a horrible intro. I gotta get my books. Ah! Oh, my knees! Oh, my knees! I can't even get around this thing. Oh, God. I didn't, I didn't get none of my stuff ready because I've been sitting here. Get on. Alright. Okay. 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 Ow, my knees! Ah! Jesus. Sweet Zeus. Okay. It's actually not that sweet. Um, alright. Here's a better intro. Hey everybody, welcome back. If you are new, I am Ambrosia, and I am the Eclectic Herbalist. That was better. Alright, anyways, so in today's video, I wanted to get back into the witchy business and discuss Book of Shadows. Books of Shadows. Um, and Grimoires. So before we get started, what is a Grimoire, and what is a Book of Shadows, and what's the difference? So Book of Shadows is a more personal book of kind of your notes, your spells, things you want to easily keep track of. So like correspondences to herbs maybe, to colors, whatever spells you do, their outcomes, things like that. Um, I have the year of the Wheel of the Year. I don't know why I said it like that first. Wheel of the Year, things for protection, like just basic protection, cleansing, bottle rituals, bath rituals, banishing, astral projection, which I mm, don't feel comfortable doing that. I'm fucking get a demon inside me with my luck. Uh, centering, grounding, things like that. So just anything you want to reference that is your personal experience, things for you. Uh, you can have a number of them. You can split them up if you want to have it be special topics. I personally have, so I have this herbal potions one, which is really just my herbalism notebook that I'm making into like a textbook. So I don't know why I'm way over here. I make it into a textbook. It's just like all of the pronouns from my class with the uh, Herbal Academy. Um, the next one I have, this one. Ugh. The next one I have is going to be the Magic of Herbs, and it's just going to be my Materia Medica and you know, correspondences to the herbs. So witch stuff and medical stuff. Um, I have several. I have so many. I have one for divination and then one for all my notes. But this is like the finalized copy and this is like draft one. So I'll write it all in here first and then I will simplify it and put it in here and put it in pen. Uh, the divination one has spreads, pendulum boards, and journal entries from my readings and things like that. I did also add, uh, it's upside down. I added a page, which I think everyone should do. I added a page for my favorite oracle and tarot card. I don't know if there you go, it's fuzzy, but oh, over here. Hand drawn. I think everyone should do that for their favorite deck, but you don't have to. I'm not like ruler of the land. Um, but that's what I have in there. Uh, I have this little black one for all of my sigils, so it's just like a book of sigils. And these three I carry with me in my, my little bag all the time with another type of notebook for all round notes. This. So as you can see, you can have a bunch of Book of Shadows. They could be for anything. It's not, you 
you can only have one and it can only be about this, this, this. No. Um, this one is all of my Hellenic pagan stuff. So the Delphine Maxims and what about, wait, hold on. What about first? The Salon Tenants. That's what I'm writing. The Tenants. So this is just my Hellenic practice. Bible-like studies, I guess. Weird, because I'm really not super religious, but I guess that's what this would be. And then I have a shadow work, book of shadows notebook, which I just do all of my journal entries, my meditations, my, I'm looking up at the viewfinder that's up there. Journal entries, meditations, my little chats, my little chit chats that I do with myself, my child self, which I need to do more of those, go sit down in my little meditations at a park bench and speak to various agents of myself. But those are all on my book of shadows. Um, as for a grimoire, what a grimoire is, is kind of something, a book of shadows you wouldn't normally show anyone, they're more personal, whereas a grimoire you may pass down to your kids or you may show a friend or let a friend borrow for inspiration don't know how you'd go about it but it's a little more solidified so you wouldn't really put um, the outcome or your experiences with how spells work you just put the spell and what's needed um, you wouldn't put journal entries or anything in it you would just put correspondences spells recipes things like that me personally, that's what I plan to do with my grimoire, and I do plan on passing it down to my children. I'm going to make a whole kind of shebang about it and um, bind it myself and do all that for them, so they better appreciate it. So that's kind of the differences. If you are practicing witchcraft or you are on, along the path of it, it isn't... A Book of Shadows and a grimoire isn't like a suggestion. Like you want to have that. You kind of need it if you are going to study and practice. You're going to want to write everything down. Um, you may not have it be as chaotic as mine because then again, I also have stuff in my phone and then stuff on my tablet. I have stuff everywhere on my computer, saved, printouts, Word documents, everywhere. So I'm a little bit more scattered with them. But if you want to make it just one book for your book of shadows and have it all there, you're more than welcome to do that. But you do want to have something that's within reach quicker for you than going on to Google. You definitely want to keep track of all your experiences, all of the outcomes to spell work, things like that. Chants, spell, rituals, all of that stuff. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be the end. Like I said, you don't need to have 50 trillion books. I just like being organized. I don't want to have to flip through a thousand pages of one book, I'd rather look for the, for the book I'm looking for and know where it is. So, that is me. Um, but other than that, I do hope you guys have a lovely day. I think this is my last video today. Wonderful. I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will be seeing you on my next video. Bye! Oh my knees. Oh.